Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Azure Data Fundamentals DP900 certification course. In this video, we are going to explore different types of data injection in Azure. In this lesson, we will learn about how to describe data injection in Azure, describe components of Azure Data Factory and see how to use Azure Data Factory to load data into a data warehouse. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Data ingestion is the first part of any data warehousing solution. It is arguably the most important part. If you lose any data at this point, then any resulting information can be inaccurate, failing to represent the facts on which you might base your business decisions. In a big data system, Data ingestion has to be fast enough to capture the large quantities of data that might be heading your way and have enough compute power to process this data in a timely manner. Azure provides several services you can use to ingest data. These services can operate with almost any source. Some of the popular tools used within Azure is Azure Data Factory or known as ADF, then Polybase, and SQL Server Integration Services or SSIS and Azure Databricks. Azure Data Factory uses a number of different resources like linked services, datasets and pipelines. So let me help you understand each one by one. Data Factory moves data from data source to a destination. A linked service provides the information needed for Data Factory to connect to a source or destination. For example, you can use an Azure Blob Storage link service to connect to a storage account to Data Factory or Azure SQL Database link service to connect to an SQL database. Let's understand data sets. A data set in Azure Data Factory represents the data that you want to ingest, input or store, which is output. If your data has a structure, a data set specifies how the data is structured. Not all datasets are structured. Blobs held in Azure Blob Storage are an example of an unstructured data. Now let's understand what is pipeline. A pipeline is a logical grouping activity that together perform a task. The activities in a pipeline define actions to perform on your data. For example, you might use a copy activity to transform data from a source dataset to a destination dataset. You could include activities that transform the data as it is, or you might combine data from multiple sources together. Other activities enable you to incorporate processing elements from other services. For example, you might use an Azure function activity to run an Azure function to modify and filter data, or Azure Databricks notebook activity to run a notebook that performs more advanced processing. So that concludes this lesson. In the next video, we are going to explore data storage and processing in Azure. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.